Hello my lovely people, you all are welcome once again to Believers Love World Message Studio and this channel brings you all gospel jays to all around the world and this channel also gives you all reaction messages from my dear man of God, Raven the Grace Oya Kilomi and if this is your first time coming across this channel, I don't want to miss videos like this that will post on this channel, kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so I'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and right on today's video I'm here with the great man of God and the person of Raven of the Greece, Oya Kilomi, DSC, DSC Didi, and, and the person of Pastor Benin. And just to talk about what happened lately in Lagos concerning the fire outbreak that took place in Lagos and one of Christ Embassy Church. You know, one thing in this life is that when something happens to certain kind of people, the way they react and the way they respond, it's all that matters. I know Pastor Chris, you know, Pastor Chris surprised me by the way he reacted you know he wasn't worried about anything he wasn't worried about the old building get, getting born so let's hear what he has to say and what uh, pastor benahin also has to say about this incident so let's pay close attention to this video and make sure we watch the rest of the video to the end and if you have anything to tell us about this video then don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section and don't forget to share this message for each of us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also to also help this channel to grow and don't forget to give us a thumbs up for it to help you to, to recommend our video thank you all and keep watching when people begin to value anything more than god that's called soul worship our thinking should not be what a great loss when when something like this happens you look at it what does god think god just gives us an opportunity to do something about it that's all what are we going to do okay great the house of god all right it's been burnt down okay all right we'll clear out the place build a better one a more beautiful one that's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Let the devil lick his wounds. Yeah. That's it. Because we, we must look at life from the spiritual. This is not what you call an accident. No, because we are not ordinary people. We are helped all the time. He told us, even when, even when you walk, he says, don't worry. You wouldn't even dash your foot against the stone. Why? He said, because he gives his angels charge concerning you. So everything that happens in your life is on plan. There's no accident to the child of God. Alright guys, there you have it with the man of God Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakirume. You see, I actually, I constantly listen or I've been listening to this video over and over again and because I am very much, very, very much inspired. And here is um, what I actually got to learn and that's from the words of the man of God, Pastor Benny Hinn, alright. Not like, I want to state it please, Pastor Benny Hinn is not talking anything about this event, alright. But I want to show you why many Christians need to learn from what Pastor Chris said in this video is because many Christians, um, you know, or people, when once things like this happen to them, they begin to cry, all right, and then forget about the word of God. You see, they value the material things when they are in troubles, all right, than the word. So I'd like you to listen to Pastor Benny Hinn as he explained this on idolatry, and I'll be right back. But don't forget, if this is your first time on my channel, can't leave the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. I need the um, so, um, like, video, uh, like button, like to this video, watch this, I'll be right back. Oh, it's so dangerous, it keeps people out of heaven, it says in, you know, in Ephesians 5.5. 5. So, that which people most highly esteem and value, they turn into a God. And that's what's happening sadly today in the church, in the church. And that's why I'm concerned. Why do we see this so much today in the church? So when people value opinions 
they turn it into a God. When they, when they value the opinion of people, it becomes a God to them. When they value the accomplishments of, 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 of someone or their, their own accomplishments, they turn it into a God. When they value relationships, when they become so attached to some relations or some individual, turn it into, into, into a God. Or enjoyments. When people uh, value, highly value uh, enjoyments, they turn it into a God. Or highly uh, value money, they turn that into a God. Or any such thing becomes an idol, an idol, okay? Think about opinions can become an, an idol. Accomplishments can become an idol. Relationships can become idols. Enjoyments can become idols. Money can, can become idols. So it's important today we talk about this because thou shalt have no other gods before me is what God says. And then the second commandment, he says, you'll not make unto thee any graven image. You'll not bow to it or you won't make the likeness of anything in heaven or on the earth or under the earth. So people today are making up their own gods that are not external but internal. And that's what the danger is because they don't realize they're turning something or someone into a God, into a God. May, may the Lord open our eyes. May the Lord give us that, 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 that understanding that we will not allow it in our lives. So think about, uh, uh, you know, people's intentions. They can turn intentions into a God because intentions, like when, when someone is, well, my aim is in life is to become rich. They turn it into a God. My aim in life is to be great. It becomes a God. My aim in life is to have pleasure and enjoy myself. It becomes a God. My aim in life is to have advantage, take advantage of people or, 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 or turn uh, things into a profit. It becomes a God. Anything that takes away from God his glory becomes an idol. Anything that takes away from the Lord, the glory due to him, to him, only to the Lord Jesus. So when something bad like this happens, you praise him and you thank him as you would have done if it didn't happen or if there had been some miraculous deliverance for a testimony you thank him all the same why because you understand how he thinks how does God think every opportunity everything that happens in your life is for a greater glory so our thinking should not be what a great loss We built that with everything we knew up until that time. What do you think we're going to do now? All right. Thank you all for watching that wonderful episode. And I believe you learned something from that video. And if it's your first time coming across this channel, you don't want to miss videos like this or posting on the channel. And you do hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and please do not forget to share our videos for you to help us to share the gospel of christ all over the world and it's also at this channel to grow stay tuned till we see you next time love you and god bless you